So everyone, namaste and hello in Ukrainian. Sorry, I don't know the word. Can you see what's happening? Anyone who can observe and you know, can take a guess what's happening? It's me without uh, the extra ears. But what's happening right now is I'm playing on 50 boards, 50 chess boards. I'm walking on each one of them. And at each board you can see three children, right? One of them, your age, or two of them are even younger. So for example, he belongs to a university chess team. So he's a university student, alright? School students, and then this guy is a student, is a kid who doesn't go to school. India unfortunately has a very mixed society where you have very rich people and extremely poor people as well. What we have done here is that for some time, maybe one hour or two hours, <coughs> the time this game went on, these three people with very different background, one of them is in university, school, and not going to school, they are on the same platform. And the platform is the chess board. Right? They are all playing chess. Chess is not discriminating whether the person who is playing it is a university student, he's a
you can do your fieldwork, you can build your careers on a platform which doesn't discriminate just like this chessboard. We have a potential solver of all the problems of humanity. In two, three generations, if we can bring this kind of equality, we'll be done. We we'll not have this kind of non-discrimination topics in our course material. This is what I do. I try to build one such solution where I can replace your sport with a technology solution which can hope to achieve you know, the same concept that you are trying to achieve with the chess. So I'll continue with the presentation now. I've been told to speak slow. <laughs> Try my best. And in case I'm not clear, please raise your hand. Okay? Otherwise, you know what the sign is. So I call the solution plant school and discuss about it uh, later. I'm one of them. And education is basic human right. So this, if we believe in it, it's true. Sattva. This is a Sanskrit word. Sanskrit is one of the most ancient languages of humanity. Sattva means purity, existence, reality, pure. If you read about it in ancient Vedic philosophy, it's part of three gunas, gunas means uh, you know, property of human beings, their behavior. So one is Sattva, Sattvika, pure behavior, when you don't care about yourself, don't you care about others, positive in life. One is Rajas, Rajas, which means action, you are excited, you want to do something. That's positive action, energy. You can, not positive, just energy. It can be negative as well. You can go to a wall, that's also because of Rajas. Third is Tamas, depression, self destruction. Either you are self-destroying or you are destroying others or you are on a path of prosperity for yourself and others. These are the three basic guna, alright, according to that philosophy. Now, for an object to be sattva, I believe you have read it. It should not be, it should be uncontaminated and it should not spread evil or disease in the world. Alright, you get the word? <coughs> Sattvic capitalism is the name of the lecture which I am supposed to give here. Now capitalism has its evils, has its plus point, has its minus points. I am not going to discuss capitalism. You know how hard it is. You have seen the socialism as well. I am not even considering that as part of the discussion. Because that is too imperfect the concept. But in capitalism, if we can bring sattva, where we do not open our corporations for ourselves, for our BMWs and land lowers, etc., can we achieve something? And is it possible? The last question. Is it possible? It's too utopian. Is it possible? So sattvic capitalism is capitalism that operates for profit and sustainability of the planet and its creatures. If you are talking only about us, we are not sattvic. We have to include the nature, everything we see and it's on this planet. Alright? Humanity is lesser good than nature. Okay, so we will come back to it in a while. First I will explain you uh, some of philosophy so that you understand my thinking and the people who are behind this uh, planet school, what they are thinking. The whole world is one family. This comes from another, you know, ancient philosophy, which is ten thousand or more years old. Because uh, Vasudev Kutumka means the whole world is one family. All right, so it means you all, you know, we are all related. It doesn't matter the Italian, Indian, new inventions, right? Planet has been always been there. Humans have always been there. So this is the ancient origin of non-discrimination. Once you're saying the whole planet is one family. There is no need to invade others, there is no need to rule others, you know. That's the concept which is prevalent in the philosophy of India even now. That's why by large you will find it. All the kings of India were more or less peaceful 
and non-expensive. They were always defending, defending well, we are still there, but they never attacked. This is how you know, we write our addresses. No one writes this. We have our country, we are proud of the Twanians. I am proud of the Twanian. We are proud of Estonians, but no one talks about planet. It doesn't make sense. Of course we are on Earth. We have to call, colonize Mars or other planets. Of course, but this, of course, what we lose is we lose our collective conscious pride. Whenever you speak to any young Indian, who are you? I am from India. Who cares? I didn't tell you I am from India. I am just telling you about Indian philosophy. Who cares? You are from Lithuania. You come to Lithuania and say I am from Lithuania. Who cares? Because we are all busy with what we have. If I am from India, I just want to hear this. If I am from Estonia, I just want to hear this. This we forget. What are we waiting for? Aliens to come and attack? Then we will unite. This same concept I took and you know the name of the project was called Planet School. So the Planet School doesn't belong to anyone, it belongs to everyone who is on the planet. Alright? What is Planet School? I'll just tell you. So the aim of Planet School initiative is to permanently remove discrimination among children. Among children. We grown ups are one cases, you are still having some hope. Using technology, collaborative and collective action. So we have a technology, we have on ground activities, that's transferable. I'll explain the you know the technology and I'll explain the collective actions as well. It contains one software platform which is right now doing a beta in India. I'll explain you what's happening there as well. Uh, if you can see, I'll just focus on these three points. All right. This explains the entire dance school uh, platform in a single slide. We have a social integration platform. It's not social networking. You cannot make a fake profile. If you talk nonsense, the software will detect, and there are many other features. All right. This is to make sure all the children who are studying in schools and universities around the world are connected. Right now, are you connected to the, you know, all the universities of India? Can you talk to all of them immediately? You know who are the social work students in Japan? You don't. So this will solve that problem. Then we have knowledge management. Indian IT is huge. Indian IT companies are, you know, doing at very fast pace. What they do in two years, you can do in two weeks without technology background. Even if I explain you how to use the transport platform, Without understanding how to use programming, you can make use of it. So this is a very strong technology. And then we have intelligence, in which we will do analysis and predict future world problems. The problem which you know faces whenever you are sitting and doing your thesis, whenever you are doing your research, you are talking about the current problems. All your case studies are current or from the past. By the time you are done with your thesis and thesis, years, we have a new set of problems in society. In India, we face it. We were preparing for this is the reason why we have child labor. The reason change. So all our research is not practically viable anymore. What we are trying to build is collective intelligence framework where all the experts from around the world can give their input and their input will be analyzed for instant reports and predictions that you might be facing this in your society in the next 10 years if you go on the same path. You might like to change it. For example, and technology wise, we have got 24, 25 patents. <coughs> this technology is extremely powerful and better than anyone else has right now, including the top companies. But we are not making money out of it, we are using it for wealth creation. What is wealth creation? If you children can, you know, take the entire planet to the right direction, that's our wealth creation. So this technology is ours, it's yours, it's mine, it's for everyone in, you know, any part of the world, for free, forever, and we can grow it together. It doesn't belong to, you know, the ownership doesn't belong to anyone. These are the phases right now. We are in the first phase, we are doing a pilot in India. 
you know, skip the risk. This is one part of the software where we are making sure that children, the first thing is basic needs and survival, right? It may not be a problem here, but in many parts of Africa, many parts of China, many parts of India, many parts of South America, even in North America now, and God knows if, you know, these and, you know, they're struggling. This is the problem that children are facing abuse of various kinds. I'm not pinpointing of what kind of abuse. We are making sure we are making, we are working with the governments to ensure that no one dares to touch a child in a wrong manner. All children are getting whatever their rights are in a right manner. They are not excluded from, you know, their childhood. Because in India, there is a huge problem with their children begging on streets, etc., etc. Can we solve it? We can. I will discuss later how we can. But we have this as the first focus of trans. So this is the pilot now. You imagine the technology is here, the intention is clear. Is it okay? You know the technology is clear and the intention is clear. Now this is the pilot which we are starting in India, which will happen in 2015. Already started, and 2015 we have to cover it. We are having 30,000 schools and colleges and educational institutions. For the pilot, I'm not talking about the real thing, this is the pilot. We have got 4 million children, children, not adults. It may be, the number may be huge for you, but in India it's just a small, small segment of the population. 2.5 million youth and some NGOs. I'll just tell you about these three organizations one by one. Okay. This is Vidya Bharti. Vidya Bharti happens to be the world's largest school network. So all the 30,000 schools belongs to that network. Now these schools are not alike. It's not that you go to any school, it will be same as the other. Some of these schools are in, you know, the big cities of India. They're very big, very rich, they've got all the resources. But some of them are in the very far areas, you know, in the higher mountains, in the deserts, where the resources are not there. There were no schools in those regions where they opened the school. Their intention to open the school is not money. They are covering four million children. Many of them would have been deprived of education had they not you know, left their greed out and worked for them. The sacrifice of these people, I call them sacred people because they don't care about themselves. The people who are behind that in school, they don't care about themselves. They did not merit many of them. The people who are, in, you know, they are leading the organization, they haven't married. They've sacrificed their entire youth now they are, you know, they are even the late ages, they are only working for the children. Now, imagine you don't have any family, you don't have any future of class. Whatever you have is for the children. This brings purity in your own, you know, feelings, your emotions. We do not have to be distrusted. But I thank them for their sacrifice because of them, you know, those four million children are able to study. What's the challenge for trans children? The challenge is that the learning, the education and the opportunities in the far flung areas is not the same as the schools which are in the main big cities. So our challenge is to make the education and the opportunity to, you know, for job and for future equal for them. How are we are going to do it? Imagine one single computer that will have the entire trans school thing. Trans school works without internet as well. Even if you're going to far from the area, if you have one system which can be connected to you know solar or some power, you can open up e school immediately. And everything is for free and it's all the same for everyone. So immediately you you know destroy the education barrier among those schools and those schools. Did you understand? Yes, no, yes, no. All right. ADVP, Akhil Bharti Vidhati Parishad, is a youth organization. Why we need to include it? Because after school you need your jobs. You need your career, right? So this organization is again the biggest in the world because the sheer numbers are huge, 2.5 million people are part of it. And what it does is channelize them towards social service and towards their own careers. 
we don't have to wait for you know any government agency to help. If there's any kind of a disaster, any kind of an urgent situation anywhere in India, these people send their children, I mean the youth, directly to the situation and they help it out. We do not wait for the government agencies. There are many nat natural disasters in India which were served by them better than the, you know, the government agencies. Only one you know, organization has done more service than them. That's Indian Army Armed Forces. They don't fight, they just serve the people in a certain situation. Otherwise, they are the best, they are the biggest contributor to social service in India. They are not students. They just call, oh, you all have to come. And you will see thousand people running towards that place. They leave everything, they will serve the people for you know, whatever time it takes. So, again, led by similar people. We don't marry, we just make sure this thing goes through. This is why the fabric, this is why the base of the you know, certain culture of India is very strong. Because you always have people who are willing to sacrifice. We don't need to do that, but good example to follow. Third is class. I'll show a video about it at the end. This is an NGO which is led by one of the very you know prominent person in Indian policing. He has been chief of police for many states. They have touched 1.5 million children in their homes. We are talking about their shelter homes. 40 of them spread across India. Kids, some lost and found, some rescued from some places, they are brought to the brought to that, you know, a shelter home. They stay there for one month, two months, maybe up to ten years, till they are good enough to go back into the society or mm -hmm. their child, their parents are found or something. 1.5 million children in the last 26 years have benefited because of them. So these three are my major partners, they are the biggest of you know, we are free in India. After this pilot, we are going to open the platform up for everyone. Within this pilot, we are inviting universities from Europe, from Africa, from South America, everywhere, but limited universities to come and join us in the pilot. There are many benefits, I will explain you what they are. Before I go with my last three slides, I will just show you some videos. Can we have sound? Is it possible to have sound?
environment is a prerequisite to attain social justice and development. Priyas supports over 10,000 women through self-help groups in various projects where they are taught to be independent and encouraged to start their own business enterprise. Women are given interesting support to face the world with confidence. Priyas also expanded its ambit of activities into various states namely Gujarat, Haryana, Bihar, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Gujarat, which was most affected by an earthquake. Bihar, considered as a backward state, has the maximum number of family children. Assam, where lives are affected by insurgency and conflicts. Andaman and Nicobar Islands, which were practically wiped out by the storm. Responding to these need based areas, Priyas, with its missionary zeal, is helping in getting their lives back to normal. So, what is the problem with India? India is not poor. Indians are poor. The wealth has been accumulated by the few. You can imagine if uh, a single festival, which we call the festival of lights, Diwali, which ha happens in November usually, because the dates are according to the calendar. Indians spend so much money on that single day on firecrackers that if we only take that money, we solve all the problems. All the problems. It's not the money. Where is the problem? You've got the richest people in Forbes in here, as you know, climbing up the number of billionaires. And why we are not able to solve these problems? The problem which we hope to solve is via Sarvika. So now, a few things which I'm going to tell you here very prospect. If you are able to understand, then you know these concepts can change the entire situation of the world. I'll tell you about you know one methodology which I have followed, which I'm going to follow after this pilot to start making you know inroads to a final solution. Greed can be greedy capitalist. 
right? Who wants the island, who wants X, Y, Z, who want to own, but actually they get owned by the things they want to own. I do not believe they require that much as they have. For example, Bill Gates himself said, I have no use for money. I have so much, but I have no use for it. So he opened Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, but still not good enough. Here what we are trying to do after, you know, uh, Plan School's pilot is identify the pain caused by greed. Any industry, you pick up any industry, any kind of corporation, are they something, are they doing something which is good for society always? I believe if you see, you know, a lot of uh, Greenpeace protests and everything against Shell Oil or XYZ, why do they do, why do they, you know, have to do it? Because there's something they are doing wrong, which is exploiting either nature or either fellow humans. First we identify them, then we develop counter to them. What are their advantages? We check their weaknesses and we check their strengths. All these companies are sitting on some kind of technology. All right, all these big companies, they sit on some technology or some resource space which they think are enough to keep them at that level. Previously it used to be military power. Right? I believe Soviet rule is not very thing of a long past here. If they did not have the military power, I'm sure you would not have allowed them here. Similarly, now the military power is replaced by technology power, maybe economic power. But again, the abuse of the power, whatever kind of power is always there. Once we have them, we fight on America. No more protest. I come from a background, I, the people who are backing me come from a background that money is not an issue. We are getting to fund even, you know, initiatives all across the world from India. But the issue is we don't become activists and in morning protest. We do things on the ground. We make them realize whatever they are, they are doing wrong has to be corrected or they will be out of competition. If you are doing it, if you are doing fighting on merit, they have to improve, otherwise they will be extinct. I have a huge amount of case here, a huge amount of research here. I will not discuss them because I don't believe really we have the time. Action before activism is my uh, message. Connect all institutions is our immediate goal. If we can connect all the young people like you, you have your aspirations, right? It should not include a name in the Forbes millionaire list. If the planet you know, decade. If all the you know young people they want to be billionaire, they want to be the richest man of the world, you'll not have any world left. You have to put your priorities right. If I connect you with all of you know all young people from here, everywhere can be connected on a good platform. We have a hope for the better communication among you, so that's the first step. Second will be to connect all the entities, for example, the NGO, you saw Paras. Similarly, the industries, they will be connected to the same platform. Now, question is why they will come to the same platform? Simple solution is that, simple answer is that, in India, each of these companies, they spend somewhere around, you know, 25,000 US dollars to 50,000 US dollars on technology solutions, which includes software. We are going to provide them those technology solutions for free. Imagine you have 30, 300,000, no, 3 million, 3 million SMEs, I have got the conversion problem, 3 million SMEs and industries in India. Multiply it with the amount, 25,000. Okay, let's say 1,000 US dollars. Still, a huge amount of saving we are going to give to these companies. Understood? Once they are saving money, what do they have to do in return? They have to ensure that they are socially responsible. They are employing at least one social work student in these companies to make sure. For example, you have the CA, chartered accountants, who have to do the financing, then you have a different kind of financing. Whether you are damaging nature, you are damaging, you know. Otherwise, you know, the laws and the courts are very slow. The damage is already done when we start to you know, do the corrective measures. So, once we give them this power, they'll be accelerated learning. 
Right now you are planning your PhDs, I hope most of you. I believe that if a 12 year old can become a chess grandmaster, you know chess, right? If 12 year old can become a chess grandmaster, chess grandmaster is equal to at least two PhDs. Not spoken by me, spoken by Dr. John Nunn, who is a PhD and a chess grandmaster. He was asked whether what was difficult, to become a chess grandmaster or to complete your PhD. He looked at you know the person in surprise and he said, Of course, chess grandmaster. <laughs> if you can have 12 year olds as chess grandmasters, I believe every individual on this planet is capable to complete his PhD and expand the knowledge base of humanity before they turn on earth. How? I'll show. Because the kind of education, the pattern, the system we have here, we have anywhere else in the world, we can combine the good practices and we can make very fast learning you know, solutions available. This is possible because I have worked for these companies. I've been guilty of working for companies who sell education solutions. Sell. What we are selling, we are gifting what is you know thousand times more powerful for free to each and every school who wants it. Or who even don't want it, you just say. Right? Then wealth creation. Money is nothing. Money is just one indicator. Money is just an indicator of how you are doing. Just try to learn about how GDP, grand gross domestic product of a country is calculated. Alright? You will realize this money carries no value if you don't calculate it in a larger context. And the larger context is wealth creation. What we are doing in India, apart from the three partners which I mentioned, the school chain, the youth organization and the NGO, we have two universities. One of the universities I graduated from a long, long time ago. One is one of the oldest universities in India. I am opening research and development centers there. Those research and development centers will work in technology and science. They will have incubation centers and everything. But they will be based on sattvic principles. You cannot do damage. Plus, those R&D centers will be connected to all other universities in the, in the world who are going to join in the pilot. For example, if business university decides, we'll open a research and development center here, and you will be able to take part in the same projects. Exchange and you know, trips to India and vice versa are all open, but the key idea is the research and development center. Alright? Once you have that, all I need to do is get to the best technology. You already are the best brains everywhere. Every 10 years, the humanity is growing, evolution, if you believe in it. But you are supposed to be smarter than me. You are smarter. You just need to discover it. And eventually, these R&D centers will make you do things within your college life, which you can't do otherwise. If you want to do some kind of commercial research, in the job it's extremely hard. Once you are working, you have your timetable, you have your deliverables. So the best time to explore your knowledge, explore yourself, is when you are studying. So I want to make sure that we don't disconnect the industry and the educational institutions. They are connected together and we have best research happening within the universities. Sattva ratings for all. We make sure we don't become like that, like them. So for that, whatever you know, agreement I have with any university or not, I make sure the money is going to be produced. Research and development centers or XYZ, but it will be utilized by common decision. So if anything is produced from Lithuania, you decide what to do with it. If we have surplus in India, we decide where to where you know the requirements are. So the decision making eventually goes out away from the nation states, the governments. It goes away from the corporations who only want to make a few people billionaire. It comes in the hand of the school, which is run by all of you. Solving the unsolving. When I was your age, long time. 
I happen to be a very uh, famous famous student because I have some national records in computer science. I used to play chess and I, you know, wrote the first Indian chess software. I also happened to beat Vishwanathan Anand once. But because of my programming, I jumped into artificial intelligence field. So in India and the world, I'm among the best people who can do AI. So I'm basically techie, techie human. All right? When I was at your age, I had to decide what to do in my life. I got, it, got an opportunity to open a company where you know one entrepreneur put the money, I put my talent, we grew the company together, and we enter our names in Bob's list. I left that company in one year. Then I went to China. I led a team of 250 Chinese people. I was the only Indian in that company. Huge, big, close relation, and it was like a big family for me. Now, after 10 years, I'm still in the most. But the owners were, you know, XYZ, they again wanted to be in Forbes this and I left it after. Then since last 10 years, I've been only doing consulting and only working on that school. Because I do not want, you know, money, money, money. I've seen it enough. That's not a kick. First one, if I give you a lot of money, it won't be a kick anymore. If you have enough, it's enough. If you have more than enough, it's also good. But not at the cost of Right? So this is what I wanted, whether I can solve something which will really give me satisfaction. Because those things were not. So I could find Khan School as my salvation point. And, you know, I can put my energy. This is a very small introduction to it. I'll show you a couple more videos. And uh, you're welcome to join us. I believe uh, the students is already very curious. I'll show you one more video, couple more videos, and then we'll be it. You saw Payas, right? than the normal kids were in school. Extremely bright, extremely bright. All I need to do is give them a chest pain and give them some push. That's it. This girl who is teaching them has the same background, similar background. Now she's teaching them. Right? So this can be broken in one generation. This doesn't take much. You know, break the circle of poverty. Chess Championship recently very lost. Prior to it, they are wishing Vishwanathan Anand all the best. Most of them did not know Mr. Vishwanathan Anand. He was a former, former you know, world chess champion. After this, they got a hero. You know, someone to follow. Similarly, we only have one Vishwanathan Anand. There are many great people in Lithuania whom I want these children to follow. If you have your heroes, you have, you know, some Footsteps to walk on is always good. And I believe that would be it from my side. I can play one video from uh, the Nobel laureate, Kela Satyarthi, who is also being part of Planet School. But before that, I'll ask any questions. I'll play one last video. It won't be that interesting to go when talking. One happens to be a legendary police cop. One happens to be the recent Nobel laureate. But before that, any questions? Congrats on the initiative. I have one question concerning the funding. Of course, it takes a lot of money to go to um, the NGOs, well, especially in different parts of India. 
Uh, when do you get your financing for the donors? I'll tell you. I put all my money in. And I, I, I'll tell you, it's not a complete sponsor. And I went back the three months ago. <laughs> all right. But I believed in the concept so much. Now the NGO which you have the 30,000 schools, they are they are funding it at the moment, and we are going to take funding from government of India under certain you know rules and guidelines. We only need funding for one or two years. After that, this is a self-sustaining model. This will generate money. We are going to fight corporations. We cannot do that unless we are money makers ourselves. The concept of you know NGOs having to depend on donations is something which stuck me. I think the people who are doing the best job are asking for money. This has to change. So right now, whatever is going on is working on a loan. So I am taking a huge amount of loan. Eventually, eventually, if something goes wrong, they have to, you know, crucify me, but all these children will benefit till that time and I'm happy. I'm anyway going to do my less. It doesn't matter. So as of now, uh, we are funded, we are funded well by that uh, organization, which happens to be the organization behind the leading political party, which is the ruling party in India right now. Money is not an issue for that. They spend like, uh, I don't know, the unofficial amount is very huge for the amount of spending they did even on the elections, right? So money is not an issue. And surprisingly, it doesn't take much money. For example, the entire Planet School is built on intellectual capital. I'll show you the videos of Planet School. I'll show you some videos. It only takes brains and sit down and work. So me and my team were happy to do that for coffee and some bread. But you need some means for learning. Yes. So all that is funded. All that is funded. Surprisingly, you know, Wikipedia only needs $160 million to sustain itself. We only need one million dollar for this year, and our maximum cost for pulling everything off is ten million per year. That's it. Which is not a big deal. Not a big deal for Indian people who are in Boxers. So money is not an issue. We are not, you know, having huge packages. For example, I don't take any money. I don't wear a watch. I got, you know, the pollution to things which I possess. I think they possess me, and this is not expensive. You are welcome to join. Yeah, but yes. how many people and who exactly take the decision? Check. Check. So, for example, we've got uh, the three organizations you saw. The Vidya Bharati, I'll just go to that slide and show you. So, right now, Vidya Bharati, ADVP, and Grass. So, Vidya Bharati is headed by one of very extremely seasoned person. Again, the people who don't have you know, families, they only work for school. They take the decision. They do not control everything. They take the decision. So he's part of the school founding team. Second founder is the head of EBVP. Third is the head of class, Mr. Amokar, who you saw in the video as well. So these three people are the founder right now, but you can join as a founding institution. For example, if Wilders University comes and becomes part of it, one person from business ministry will be the founder, you decide, we don't. And you will influence the decision making. So basically you have three men taking decisions. Right now we have got three organizations. Who are taking by three men. It's mixed back. It's mixed back. Is it? It's mixed back. These two these two organizations are, you know, mostly maybe the head head headed by men. This one has mixed, the has mixed. But it's, I don't see how gender matters. It does matter because sometimes decisions are made differently when we have women and men on board. It's like they issue in the European Union, and okay. I do think when it concerns education, it should be a bit gender, at least some gender balance, because okay. even education, it, there are some differences. So I see the point of involving women in the decision making. One, one, one uh, you know, is, um, input. Whatever decision that making happens on the happens online with everyone's input. What happens, we put it up online, this is what we need to do. These children, these children, they can give their comments and we accept what's right. They don't control anything. 
even if they are helping it out, they are they are they don't control it. So it's done by all. But it doesn't matter male, female, the decision is taken on by all. I showed the chess yeah, set were, okay. for the girls I can show you There were two sets which are for boy one. It might be one way. Good. I am very happy you noticed. I'll see if I have the video here. I'll show you for the girls. I personally teach the girls. They call me Tauji. Tauji means uh, father's elder brother. And I do the coaching myself there. Alright. So we, in India, this very limited bias for women. Though it's reported a lot. But if you see in the history of India, the history of great women of India, women are as respected as men. Not all, you know, all communities, but most of them. So in India, if my father says something, I can say no. If my mom says something, I get not. <laughs> most of the time. Just to look at the institutional index of gender equality, and then you will have some problems with that. Trust me, do not trust such research. Um, because I've well, seen. It happened that I've been in India once in a while. Please be our guest. Because trust me, their problems are there. I'm not saying okay. problems are not there. But it's not complete, you know, on your no, problem. No, it's not, I'm not saying that it's complete science or right. reservation trouble, but there are issues. Exactly. But I believe 70% of the school principal must be women. Mm. I don't remember any school where we had a male. Now you're making me think, but we never had that bias. Because we were always taught by female teachers. And so this is what I can recall. Very few, maybe sports teacher. That's it. So usually you know, women take center stage in uh, education in India. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, show you some video of the, of the, of the platform. So in the meanwhile, any questions? I, I'll not explain that because explaining this will take you know another two lectures. I'll just let them play. Any other question? Websites because IT is very big expense for these schools, so we are doing everything. Yeah, so any other question? 
This can go on. I'll give you the links where you can check all the videos and read the technical documentations and everything. Right now, we don't allow any unknown person to join it. So if you have to send me an email, I'll give you the login password and you can check the platform. So the idea is that within the pilot, we cover the schools in India and maybe you know a dozen or a couple of dozen universities across the world. So that we make sure the entire decision making of the platform, you know, whatever we are doing. It's useful for Europe, Africa, Asia, Pacific, everywhere. So we are making sure we are involving as many people along the world as possible. In short, this can replace your entire Facebook, WhatsApp, keep it here, everything. Plus, give the controls to you. I'll put one video on. If you have any question, uh, otherwise you're gonna bore you enough.
what do you mean? Uh, I didn't get you. <laughs> you say modern technology, what do you mean? Uh, what I'm telling you, what I mean by ancient technology. Is it what? Computer? Yes. Access to internet? Access to the, I don't know. I'll, I'll come to Information that. Before, before, before talking about the modern technology, I'll just make a small mention about the ancient technology. Okay. I have only one reference, so I can only speak for you know, the Indian ancient technology. Harappa civilization, it's dated to be 3000 years old. Harappa is a ruins now. They have proper sanitation system, everything. And the dead bodies, which are there, there's human skeleton sitting, a small child and woman just sitting, scared. They are still part of that ruins right now. All right? You can check it on in, online. They are radioactive. They are radioactive. The same level of radioactivity which was in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki Bombay. All right? We are talking about 3,000 years ago, according to you know, the modern dating. Prior to that, in India, we call it geography Bhu Bol. Bhu Bol. Bhu means earth. Bol means round. And this is not a new term. This term is like thousands and thousands of years ago. Till last 500 years, I heard Copernicus or someone. We used to think the oldest fact in the modern science. Here we have a technology, the education system, which tells that the Bhu Bol, world is round, thousands of years ago. I can give you more than 100 examples of similar thing. Right now what's happening is, I think right now what's happening is, the technology which we have, computer science or mobile or you know, wireless and everything, it's the very fast changing pace. When I started developing, you know, when I was, uh, you know, your age, the best mobile were black and white, Nokia. Black and white mobile. There were no color screens when I started using them. I used to develop programs for those mobiles. All right. In ten years, it has completely changed. Check your mobile. Completely changed. You can't imagine what will happen in the next ten years. That research is I am doing apart from dance because I am a scientist. I call myself a scientist. So I am part of research in electronics, telecommunications, and many other fields, including biotechnology. I don't want that technology to go in the hand of the corporates who want to make money. I want them to stay with these children, and I want them to work on those technologies within the institutions. So modern technologies is what we are going to make in the next five to ten years. It's possible because in India, Huge, many students who you know who were in touch with me, they have opened their own companies. They are doing extremely well. They are making new technologies which no one has. Planet School, no one has. So this is modern technology for Planet School because in Planet School, I'm not showing you the artificial intelligence-based analysis, which no one has. MIT's best of research researchers don't have that. So this is modern technology. Plus, we are working a lot on hardware because we have to make this. So easy that in your future mobile, after three four years, you open a you know a projector. It's already there. Projector is already there in mobile, but a more powerful projector. You leave it, and artificial intelligence based a planet comes. And you speak to the planet, and child can talk to the planet, and the, the planet can talk to the child, and you know give a first level of counseling. First it level of counseling. It's just you know it's just a way of communicating. So what is Right now, you got four million children, very few teachers. Now I can give a teacher to watch your pen in a pocket. This is how you can use it. Yeah, this is how you can use it. So each child can have it on his pocket. It doesn't cost much. That device will be, you know, hardly less than hundred dollars, way less than hundred dollars. And that's not a big amount now. If we can make that happen, we solve the education. But the problem with this entire thing is that once you start to focus on one problem. The other problem changes. And I'm a chess player, I don't play poker. Chess is a game of complete knowledge. You know what's happening on the entire world. There's no hidden piece. So for me to conceptualize Planet School, I had to make sure that we are touching all the life cycle of a child from pre-birth 
we have a plan for people as well. To to the time when they are standing on their own, making their own money, making their own careers. So this entire cycle, each problem which you know a child faced during this entire cycle, we are trying to take care of each one of them. So this corporates has to be part of it because otherwise, if they are not getting jobs, I think that is a big problem. The social work students are disappearing. Because it's low paying, no jobs. Using this will force the companies to have same respect for a social worker, you know, who's going to work for them as they are for the chartered account. Who are the highly paid and usually they just, you know, mess up the numbers. So that's the idea and we are sure we, we are going to put it off because the people who are backing us are the main people who are behind the government of India as well. So we have a, if this is not the chance, maybe this will never happen. But I believe this is the time we will put it off. We don't have to convince anyone. Did you not notice? Please notice. Where's the convincing word? If I don't it. For example, for example, for example, what we are doing in Tanaskan, we take over a few companies who are making a lot of money now. We are not going to do that. Plus, then we are going to, we have that SME plan. I think one of the slides will include it. Yes. Connect all entities, SMEs to institutions. They are getting free software. Three million SMEs are getting free software. If they don't take the free software, their cost of production is higher. The ultimate what they are selling is expensive. It will not sell in the market. So they have to use it. Once they are using it, they are getting the HR human resource problem solved because they'll be giving you direct internship, they'll be paying you on the internships to learn and work with them. You will get very fast learning. Just one part of no, the side. Where the part. place of the family and the community? I, I, I can't I can't get the so you know you, you, you make a connection to the whole planet of the child, but how he can make connection to the family and he lives in, to the community he lives in. He can be connected to, I don't know, another side of the planet. But how he makes friendships with the loves and, and, and disappointments and so on. We have few concepts here, but uh, they are not you know, complete yet. We are going to keep experimenting because this is not a project which is completed. This is a project which is starting. This is our starting point. So once I get research from modern people or the academicians who are working in social support, I am going to try to develop solutions as much as we can help because of course this can't solve everything. We need the on-ground action. But whenever you have an on-ground action, this will support it and make it easy to manage. And if you need any external support, you can get it. So there are few things it will help you with. Of course, it can't replace you know, the real, real person. But it can play its part. And if you need any new you know, development, because the idea, the idea of global identity can ruin up you know, your own identity as a, as a person, as a part of the family, as a part of the community. So you are, you know, have identity a globe, but you are not responsible for anything as well. No, I don't, I can get you. <laughs> well, this is, you know, how... Okay, maybe I'll show you, I'll show you some part of the software. Whenever you are part of an entity, even your family, your school, your company, your university, you have multiple profiles in Tanis. And each one you manage differently. So if you log into your school, whatever you did in your school will always be the alumni. And your own alumni will be automatically formed, etc. etc. So whatever entity, I don't we don't have groups in Tanis, I'll give you the philosophy behind that, but whatever entity you are part of, you get a different management, you know, portion within Transpool to do that. So if you have a company running on Transpool, that's a very different part of the software where others can't infiltrate. So the management of each entity can be different. And if you have a family, there's no sense of, you know, putting up uh, on Transpool because it's close, but if you want, you can put that. But if you're in shelter room, so entire class, all children are going to be on Transpool. We're already doing the transition. So that we can track their learning also. It's a very silly question to ask. How much maths do you know? Uh, how much maths do I know? How do I answer that question? 
we have such provisions in our artificial intelligence where we can compare your knowledge with the world knowledge base and we can tell you this is where you lie. This is Why how much. Do I need to know math if there is a condition? Any question. Yeah, just, math is just for example. Maths is just for an example. I'm just provoking. Yeah. <laughs> just for an example. Because I belong to the more of a mathematical than a bank. So I love to cite those examples. Because but those students they don't calculate now. They can't remember even the the the, 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 the table of uh, multiplying because they have right. you know, the computer. Funny, you don't need to remember that multiplication table. Should I give you one concept? Maybe at the end. Any, any anything else? Uh, all right. What is one plus one? Simplest of math question. <laughs> I'll give you a very new perspective about 1 plus 1. Anyone? Come on, no one knows what's 1 plus 1. It's just there. What's 1 plus 1? 1 plus 1 is 2. Agree? That's the common accepted solution, right? What is 1 cat plus 1 dog? Still 1 plus 1. What is 1 cat plus 1 dog? One cat and one dog. What is one cat plus one cat? Yeah. Two cats? Yes, no? Or maybe eight cats. Very imaginative, but you stick to two, two cats right now. What if one cat's name is Jasper, another is Casper? So what is Casper plus Jasper? Two cats. Casper and Jasper. Eventually, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 is a tool. Mathematics is a tool. It's not absolute truth. You do not have any one thing which is the same as the other thing. 1 plus 1 will be 2 if they are of the same kind. For our convenience, we say, okay, 2 cats, let it be 2. 2, 1 plus 1, 2 cats. That's our convenience, but that's not the truth. A single atom has a unique space. Any other atom has another unique space. You combine them, you do not get to that. They are still one in one. So maths is very simple. Social work is the tough one. <laughs> <laughs> and so any other questions, otherwise I am done. Thank you. Thank you, Ritwani. Thank you. Thank you.